This is like my sixth time making my mac and cheese in the span of one month by request of other people. So I'm gonna answer some questions that I got a lot of. First one is, why do you have to shred your own cheese? On pre-shredded cheese, there's like a film and it's gonna prevent it from like melting and getting that ooey gooey texture. Okay, I've used like every bowl in the house for cheese. I'm making a double batch, it's for my dad's work. So I'm making a roux. What is a roux? A roux is fat and flour. So my fat is gonna be butter and then I like to add my seasonings in there too because it like helps them bloom and it makes more flavor. I'm gonna add my flour. I had a lot of comments saying that their mac and cheese came out gritty. That's most likely because you didn't cook your flour enough. Just go for about like three to four minutes just to really cook out like that flour taste and that texture so it won't be gritty. You can also make your roux with like bacon fat that adds a lot of flavor too. Okay, so now I'm gonna make my bechamel sauce. Bechamel is adding milk to your roux. You get all that flour so you don't get any clumps of flour. And you're not gonna add your heavy cream till this thickens up. Other questions were, can I make this the day before? Do I freeze it? What do I do? I do that all the time, like for Thanksgiving and Christmas. You're just gonna do all the steps besides putting it in the oven. So you're just gonna have it already layered, put it in your fridge, and then when it's time, you're just gonna bake it. That's it, easy peasy. Can you freeze it? You can freeze anything your little heart desires. But yes, you can freeze it. That's what my family's doing with my other mac and cheese right now. Just take it out to thaw like the day before, and then you can put it in the oven. Where did I learn how to make mac and cheese? That was a big question. I went to culinary school and worked at a few restaurants. Almost every single restaurant that I worked at had mac and cheese on their menu, but they all prepared it a different way. So I just took what I learned. How long should I cook my pasta? So for the cavatappi, corkscrew, whatever you want to call it pasta, I do eight minutes. Like it doesn't get too soggy. It's like the perfect texture. Now we're making a Mornay. Mornay is a bechamel, but just with cheese. When I'm adding the cheese, I like to have the heat on low. Could be another reason why your mac and cheese is like grainy and gritty. Look at that. Like, ooh. When it gets like this, this is when I add my pasta. All done. I just have to pack this up and get ready for my dad to pick it up. But I also wanted to say thank you to everyone. I had like thousands and thousands and thousands of people comment, tag, like say that they did my recipe and they loved it. And as someone that like cooks for a living and this is their occupation like chef whatever you want to call me i don't know what it is it means a lot i'll be posting more like holiday stuff but thank you all